I was asked to find the oxidation number here for each element in KO2. This is called potassium superoxide. It's a little bit strange. So let's see what we can do for the oxidation numbers. When we look at our rules here, we know that this is a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive after it like we'd have with an ion. So when we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they have to add up to zero. So that's helpful to know. When we look at potassium, that's in group one. So it's always going to be plus one. So then this oxygen here, this is the challenge. What is oxygen? We know that it all has to add up to zero. For this, let's set a little equation up. One, that's a potassium, plus two times x equals zero, because it's neutral. So two x, that would equal negative one. We divide both sides by two. Let's put it down here. x equals negative one half, which is kind of strange to have a negative one half. What does that mean? If we were talking about ionic charge, we wouldn't expect there to be fractions. A fraction of an electron doesn't make sense. But oxidation numbers are more of an accounting system. So negative one half, that's okay. What that means is each oxygen here, we have two oxygens, each oxygen is going to be negative one half. So two times negative one half, that's negative one. And negative one plus one, that gives us that zero since it's a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element in KO2, potassium superoxide. Thanks for watching.